I was on Charlie Kirk's radio show yesterday. Uh, they, it's video and radio. It's mostly a radio show, but they simulcast the video. Uh, and we got into the DeSantis-Trump uh, situation. Now, I just want to say, as I said up top, Charlie and I have been friends for years. We've done dozens and dozens of events together, usually with Turning Point USA. Uh, Charlie is firmly in the Trump camp. Turning Point, from my humble opinion, is basically a Trump uh, campaign arm, right? Like that, that they, that's what they in effect are. But Charlie was gracious enough to have me on his show to say what I think about DeSantis. Uh, so he asked me to make the case for Governor DeSantis. Here you go. Kind of make the case, especially to our conservative audience. And then secondly, how do you think his campaign is currently going? You, in essence, should be loving every single thing that Ron DeSantis has done. I, I don't know one thing that Ron DeSantis uh, has not done that we would have wanted him to do. Florida is safe. Its economy is absolutely booming. We fund the police here. We're getting ESG out of our institutions. We've done that, which that's actually perhaps the biggest issue that people don't talk about that often because it's kind of in the weeds on how corporations are putting wokeness on all of us. I know you talk about it, but the average person doesn't, and they certainly don't in corporate America. Uh, he has fought Disney. He has fought the endless racialization of our children by getting rid of this AP African-American studies course that was in essence gonna teach gender theory. We've gotten some of these books that are sexualizing our children out of schools. He has done literally everything that anyone right-leaning could believe in or, or could possibly want to happen. I would say he's done one or two things that are a little bit more right-leaning than, than I would want. Oh, perhaps. they're perfect for me, Dave. I got to say, I love that stuff. They, no, <laughs> no, absolutely. But I would ask you, what is there anything that Ron DeSantis, you're, you're at least a part time. No, he, he, he's, a, he's America's greatest governor. I've said that. And, I, and by the way, I just, I've said that repeatedly. Okay, so it was good to hear. First off, I want to credit Charlie. Charlie brought me on his show to let me say what I believed and as obviously, I went ahead and did it. Charlie said right there that uh, DeSantis has been America's greatest governor. He later went on to say that I think his exact quote was 100 percent when I asked him if DeSantis was the best governor when it came to COVID. Uh, and then we got into a little bit of my criticisms around Trump. I thought you might find this one interesting. But here's what I would like to see out of DeSantis. We could talk after the break, Dave. You know, when we go to a college campus, you say, hey, if you disagree, go to the front of the line. I want to say, I want to see somebody get in the arena and say, hey, I, I, I'm willing to throw out the script. I'm willing to just take any question. I'm willing to kind of just fight. It's more kind of total and attitudinal. Um, Dave, your reaction, 20 seconds. We'll pick it up after the break. Sure. So look, if in essence, and we'll pick it up after the break, if in essence, your, your point is, oh, I agree with virtually all of the policies and nobody has accomplished more than this guy and done everything I want to do. But, but there's a little bit of a marketing issue here. All right, I'll go with you on that. And I think that can be dealt with. The base is very smart and they're constantly looking in a way of who's going to betray me next. This is the advice I'd g I gave to DeSantis privately and publicly. And right now, the Rubicon has been crossed where they think DeSantis is going to betray him. I'm not even saying that's fair, but, but, but I'm not saying but it's fair. Charlie, I mean, it's honest. I mean Trump, Trump has done far more to betray the truth and, and in a certain way, the, the, the respect of the base every time he lies about DeSantis, right? So, so when he lies about COVID in Florida, who, who was the best governor for COVID in, Florida, COVID in the country? De DeSantis, 100 percent. But this, yeah. who, here's has more, the thing. who has more in, who has done more work and more praise for Paul Ryan? Is it Ron DeSantis or Donald Trump for Paul Ryan? I can't yeah. who, I can't is, speak either way. Uh, but at, at the same time, we could talk about well, getting after I the break. Speak either way. I mean, I can show you plenty of videos of Trump talking but, about how much but, he loves but, Paul but, Ryan. Dave, I will agree with you that in terms of some of the strategy of the rollout, they probably should have been more aggressive. I do see that changing. Look, DeSantis just went on uh, Russell Brand last week. Uh, he just went on CNN for the first time last week. I think he's doing Megyn Kelly this week, if I'm not uh, mistaken, mm -hmm. and she's been very, very critical of him. Uh, Russell's a lefty. I mean, he certainly uh, is you know, no one that you would call a traditional conservative by any stretch. I would love to see him go on The View, sit directly with those women and call out their endless lies about Florida, you know, Anna Navarro, who lives in Miami, who rails against Florida every day. He should sit right next to her and call her out. Um, so if you want, if your question is really, do you want to take some of the, the anger that the base has because of the way Trump being treated and he's being treated horribly. And I yeah. completely it's, agree it's with that. It's righteous. Um, I agree. I agree. There's probably some way to do that. But I would also say to some extent, ten, if, you ten just want to view yep. this, if you just want to view this in the political lens, Maybe this is why Trump should stop lying about DeSantis every which way. And you know he is. 
Everything he says about DeSantis is a lie. Everything well, look, he says Dave, about Florida Dave, I'll, is a I'll lie. be honest. It's also a lie when DeSantis goes after Trump and says he was pro-Fauci and all that. That's just not true. But, but and well, it he is gave what it, Fauci an award on the way we're, out. We're, we're, we're out of time. Dave Rubin, thanks so much.